been quite an emotional morning. I'll explain. So, <laughs> yes, people have mentioned on this channel about my lack of regard for health and safety. You'll see a case in point. But before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Good morning, chickens. Grubs up. I want to put your coat on today, it's raining. Good morning. From a wet, rainy, Department 16, Charente, here in the southwest of France. Of course it was unique, wasn't it? Let's come back, come back to the field. The apple's gone. So I'm assuming he's at it now. Uh, I'm stood on the rear. I'm not confident that, uh, that this new DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is going to stand the rain. Right, so active face track. So um, that's going to hopefully stop the camera going off to all sorts of angles. So if I move the camera now, it's following me automatically. What a great bit of kit. So it's idiot proof. I, th I think that's what I'm saying. I was planning on. Um, cutting off some branches to the tree. Um, that's just to my left, um, which is behind you. <laughs> um, by getting a long, long sorry thing. I'm, I'm not very good with heights, uh, but it's raining. So I might still go and get it, but uh, I won't be doing it today. Have you heard of the Death Nut Challenge 3.0? <laughs> I've ordered it. Um, so Colin and I, Colin from French Countryside Life, your link in the description. Uh, I think it was Chrissy uh, that messaged me this morning, uh, asking me the name for Colin's channel. Now, there's a reason why I say yeah, there's a link in the description to the channel. <laughs> I don't just say it for the sake of it. So yeah, if, um, if you are interested in the people that come onto my channels, I'll always put a link in the description. So you just need to go to that part of the video and just click on the link and it'll take them straight there. But uh, yeah, so the Death Nut Challenge, that's uh, a really, really hot um, series of nuts. Five different, uh, five different stages of heat. Uh, got 10 seconds to eat each one. Got to wait 30 seconds before you, uh, before you go to the next packet. And then after the last packet, the Death Nut, there's like 16 million Scoville units. You've got to wait five minutes. What could go wrong? So yeah, I've, um, yeah, yeah, we're going to be going to Conflon again. Yeah, just to go and get that sore thing. Um, I will do a bit of B-roll. Um, shh. <laughs> I will be doing a bit of B-roll. Just so I want to see how this camera with its gimbal and its stabilisation fares up to, um, to, uh, yeah, to driving along. Should be good. Just shame that the weather's rubbish. Anyway, that's a, no that's a noisy chicken. Um, so whatever's next. Let's do that. I've just realised. You have a haircut first. Absolutely no need for these. Cue slow mo. So let's go from this haircut to this.
yourself a uh, saw. I did want one that you could uh, put on, a, put on an extension. So I could, uh, I don't need to get up a ladder. You didn't sell the extension. So looks like I'm gonna have to go up a ladder. Not today. Uh, it is absolutely chucking it down out there. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be nice. Yeah, I think it's gonna be nice now for the next for the next week or so. So, which is good. So we can start cracking on with some jobs. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Well, it's been quite an emotional morning. I'll explain. So I was all set, and I'm still going to do it. The tree over there. Um, try and climb it and lob down some branches. But a lady walked past. Walked past her house. We've seen it before, and with the help of um, the little French that I know, and massive help from from Google Translate, what she was telling us. So our parents owned this house um, since 1954. They converted it, I believe, um, and she lived here from the age of zero. She wasn't born here, uh, but in the first year of her life, she moved here um, and stayed here until uh, she was 20 with her sister and her brother who all shared uh, Evangeline's room now and her parents had uh, is our bedroom yes yeah, so um, the grandparents um, were farmers and owned the farmer's house as it is now sold it to them and so it was like a family little hamlet um, that they had uh, their cows in this field pigs uh, ducks, chickens, um, patagé um, over there, uh, see if I can... over there, um, which is weird because um, we still find potatoes there now growing. Oh, amazing! Yeah, so um, the kitchen was a grange, which is a um, a barn, um, up until 1970. So our kitchen now um, has been a kitchen since 1970, and um, the garage was built in uh, in 1980. Her mum um, loved to cook, and so um, did a lot of cooking in 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 the house. And um, yeah, they said that the house was full of love. Yeah, and we've always felt that about this house. We, we've always known that it was it was a house of love. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that sounds like a um, a pop song, doesn't it? <laughs> as shameless as I am, I pointed her in the in the direction of uh, of the YouTube channel. Um, she's yeah, she's taken loads of photographs to send to her sister, and we've said uh, her sister um, and anyone else from her family that want to come back and have a look round, they, yeah, they're more than welcome to. And so um, yeah, it's just uh, an unexpected term for the day because we've always wondered about the history of the house you know the people that we bought this house from in um, 2009 it, when we bought it last year they they bought it from them in 2009 and we just didn't know what the history was before we still got loads of questions to ask loads and loads but um, yeah a lovely start to the Sunday anyway I'm gonna try and not kill myself by cutting down the trees I want to say trees and branches
much as I'm prepared to do. I'm not going in the car. Anyway, we've got birds. That lives in our that live in our potting shed. I'll show you. Yeah, that was Lisa making that noise, not me. I go much higher than that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we've kept the air. Uh, we've kept the, the nest in there. What type of animal would remove a nest? <laughs> but yeah, if uh, anyone knows the breed of bird, let us know. Anyway, we're doing uh, our second live uh, broadcast this evening. Uh, which, if you've not seen it, it's already gone out because this goes out Monday. Uh, well, Lisa's getting involved, which is great because last time it was just me and I ran out of things to say. Anyway, whatever's next, let's do that. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what was next is um, we've made a swing. Might be able to turn this around quickly. Tree branch! There, look. Right, put it down, you're going to hurt yourself. Angel, did you like the swing? I did actually hurt my arm a little bit. But... Oh. <laughs> yes, people have mentioned on this channel about my lack of regard for health and safety. You'll see a case in point. I don't know if you can see it. Myself an ouchie. You're getting this in real time. Anyway, that's the thumbnail sorted. I'll be all right in bed. <laughs> you want me to like, go to bed? <laughs> Am I being a brave soldier? Yes, yeah. it's very bad. It's not. It is. What are you doing in here? That's funny. Keep forgetting <laughs> to say right at the very start of the video when I spoke about the death nut challenge and then I briefly mentioned Colin and then I went off on a tangent. Um, so Colin from French Countryside Life, the description, um, he's going to be doing the death nut challenge with me. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be. It's uh, it's going to be delivered on Wednesday, so I have to make sure that our diaries coincide because I'm obviously a very busy man <laughs> um, yeah and then he's going to record it for his channel and I'm going to record it for my channel and uh, yeah <laughs> it'll be fun I've just um, completed uh, a practice um, live stream for tonight's um, live stream at half six uh, we're going to put the Kids to bed at six o'clock with a snack and uh, and their iPads or a book um, and yeah we're going to uh, we're going to do the live stream so uh, hopefully if you're watching this you'd have seen it last night if you had time um, so but if not no worries we'll do more in the future. Unique? Unique? Where are they? Fence there. Hello sunshine. Oh! Dropped it. Yeah. Let's give you one. Yummy. 
I'm a silly sod, I dropped the apple. Anyway, it's time to go and start this uh, this YouTube live. Right, so half six. It's time for the uh, for the live stream. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so you lot have spoken. The masses have spoken. A huge 27, not even percent, 27 people voted as to whether uh, Lisa should uh, get an air fryer. Um, okay, let's see if we can work some magic. Let's do that. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Right, so Lisa always said of I've got magical hands. Um, so we're now going through the unboxing of our uh, Ninja Foodie Max Dual Zone 9.5 litre air fryer. Let's, let's do that. And well, there we have it, just uh, out of the box. Need, need to take these bits off. I'm going to have some chips. My kitchen. That's where it lives now. There it lives. Have to leave a little bit of a gap behind. Um, so the lady was saying. And then you... What, on YouTube? Yeah. I'll get it. Ta-da! <laughs> right. So let's see what these look like. Wow. Yummy. Who wants a veggie patch update? I know what I do. Yeah, so Lisa picked. What did you pick? Ah, stone. <laughs> what did you pick yesterday? Raspberries? Raspberries. Tomatoes. Of them. And tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And... What happened? The dog ate them. Of course he did. Out of the pot that I put them in. I really didn't think he'd eat them. But I, the next thing I saw was him um, eating my strawberry, uh, raspberries and tomatoes. Yeah. 30 kilos are stupid. Right, so we've got loads of tomatoes that are uh, almost ripe. Um, got the bell peppers around it. This footage is loads more smooth, you know, with this camera. It's lovely. Is it? Yeah, they're nearly ready. Come on. Got some leeks growing there. And over there, aubergine. That's it. The raspberries, that's, uh, oh, that wasn't there yesterday. No. <laughs> yeah, runner beans. He's grown from yesterday, the melon, and uh, loads of tomatoes over the side. And these ones are, uh, are on the vine. And then uh, we've got fat ones over here. And this side, we've got loads of melon. Uh, we've already picked one, because uh, we didn't know what a ripe melon looks like. And I chopped into it, chopped it all up. It was melonish. It's only look melon, but probably tastes about 40% melon. melon. No, but it just not ripened, does it? And uh, a butternut squash, that, uh, that was grown. Have we got any more? Yeah, there's another one there. And another one here. As well, so I've laid him down because he's going to get oh, real yeah. heavy. Yeah, Lisa reckons there's something wrong with my taste buds uh, because of all the Indian food. I've eaten over the years. <laughs> anyway, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, because bugger all. Add a comment, you know we like a comment. Leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. Not in me. Laters. <laughs>